About a month ago, I uploaded a video on showing you all how to install uh, Windows 11 or Windows 10 and 11 on Apple M1 uh, computers using VMware, a free piece of software, VMware Fusion. Um, but there was some confusion that I had and also fast forward to what you guys also had on how to execute that .sh file in terminal. I did see a lot of comments of people telling me exactly how to do it. Um, some of them did not work. Uh, some of them did work, but I do have a method to get it to work. So that is today's video. What's going on everybody, Kwaku here. And as I said in the introduction, I'm gonna show you how to get that .sh file working in a separate video um, because it's a correction versus my VMware Fusion tutorial video. So simply to do that, what you're gonna to need to do first things first is you need to open up your terminal application on your Mac OS. So to do that, I simply just press my launchpad button right there and then I just type in uh, terminal and then I hit enter and now terminal is open. Now for video recording purposes, let me make this a little bigger for you guys to see it better. And then the next thing you see right here behind you um, on the web browser is uh, Homebrew. This is the Homebrew website. You need to install Homebrew um, on your computer in order to get any of this to work. So just hit this button here. When you go to brew.sh or click the link, press this button here to copy it, and then go into your terminal, hit Command V to paste and hit return. It's gonna ask you for your password. So go ahead and type that in. Uh, it won't show you uh, what your password is. So don't worry about that if someone's sitting right behind you, which is why I'm showing you guys. It'll tell you what the script installs and you just hit return. Uh, all the things that I'm doing right now, of course, I already have everything needed because I've obviously done it for the purposes of the video. But if you don't have it already installed, the next thing you're gonna need to do is it tells you run these two commands in your terminal to add homebrew to your path. So you just highlight the whole thing and then command C to copy and then click on that empty line, command V and then hit return. And then that's it. That's, that's the basic part of homebrew. So then the next step here is you need to install Aria two. That was something a commenter said. And of course that is true. And so the next thing all you do is to do Aria two, all you type in is brew install Aria two. And before I even hit return, uh, I'll just let you know, like I said, there is a blog post that I wrote up that has everything on there right here. So you can copy all the things needed to get the thing working. It's on Medium, so it's free. Um, so get that done. So now for ARIA 2, you just hit return. And for me, again, it already has it installed, so I'm good to go. The next step here is um, an interesting one. The next step is finally getting the .sh file working. Um, so Again, I am going to simply go to the blog post to copy in this entire uh, script that you need to type in. So this whole thing here, you're gonna need to highlight it, Command C to copy it, if it'll let me. There you go, Command C to copy it, Command V to paste it, um, and then just hit enter. And of course, I already have all that stuff done. And then the next step is you're gonna need to change directory into wherever that .sh file is hiding on your computer. So to do that, you just type in CD for change directory, uh, you hit space, and then go into your finder and look for the folder, not the actual file, but the folder that that .sh file exists. So for me, it's this one right here, and I just click it and I drag it in. You don't need to do all those extra things that other people online have been telling you of having to go to view and all this extra stuff. You simply just drag the folder into your terminal Hit enter, it's changed directory into it. And then the next step that you have to do simply is to copy another another script. I'm so sorry for all the scripts. Um, and again, it's on the blog post so that you don't need to type in everything and in case something is wrong, you just highlight it, command C to copy it. Sometimes it takes two, two tries to copy it. And then command V to paste it, hit return. And then that basically gives you gives the permissions to get the .sh file uh, running because if you don't do these steps, uh, it'll say there's no permissions available to get the .sh file working. And so now the final step here is exactly what you've been waiting for, and that is just getting the .sh file working. So go into Finder, look hit locate wherever that um, wherever that .sh file is, the UUP download macOS .sh. Click it the actual file, drag it into terminal, 
and you see it right there and then just hit return and then give it a couple minutes or a couple seconds depending on how long you how fast your computer is and let it do its job and you see on the right side there you see that it is figuring everything out and is executing exactly what we wanted from the very beginning to get it to work so let it do its work and that's pretty much it you're pretty much done so i'll come back when it's done so i can show you guys um, how your file how your folder will look like after it's finished this whole process it could take a little bit of time so stay tuned but in general before i even leave for a second uh basically it is pulling all of that information from microsoft uh, and it is just going to put it all together and it's going to do the conversion to the ISO file and everything on its own. So when it's all done with this, the conversion will happen. You'll see it happen in front of you if you look closely at the whole um, terminal program. And then you'll have that file need and you can continue with that tutorial that I made. Um, of course, that tutorial is in the blog post at the very bottom because right there you just click it and then you can watch the tutorial. It makes it easy for you guys. So that's about it. So now let me come back when it's all done and I'll show you how it looks like. Alrighty, so you can see that the terminal script has finished doing everything that it needed to do. This is how it looks at the very end. When it is done, it'll just say done. Now let's go back to my folder here and see how that looks. So you see right there, this file right here, if I make it bigger, you can see 22,000.1 professional arm 64 and US because I'm in the US. It'll be based around wherever you're from. This is it. This is the file that you guys needed for that tutorial that I made a month ago that is already at like 70,000 views. That's insane. Uh, but this is it. So that's all you needed. Hope you guys, this was useful to everybody. And uh, stay tuned for more videos in the future. And uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Happy holidays.